bar. <laughs> this is historical. For 40 years, this industry had no protections. Uh, employers were able to get away with terrible behavior, firings, harassment, uh, zero-hour contracts. You know all the you know all the stories, and. Now we have incredible independent workers, Union of Great Britain, se securing people's conditions here in the UK. It has achieved incredible uh, victories in the gig economy with the Leroux drivers, Uber drivers. So it is really, it really knows how to take on the big, the big shots, you know. These drivers are hardworking people and in their job they face many struggles. Drivers sleeping in their cars, drivers working 80, 90 hours a week and still not making the minimum wage, not seeing their family, the stress, the pressure of the job, the very same driver being pushed into hardship by Uber. People will be crystal clear on day one uh, of their contract, what their rights are. I'm joined now by Maggie Dewhurst, who's a cycle courier, as well as vice president of the Independent Workers of Great Britain Union. What do you make of what the government are proposing to do today? Um, well, we're not... <laughs> We're not uh, joining in in the fanfare. The workers themselves would have never done this without the Game Workers Unite International movement that's been started at GDC. So kudos to everyone there. I don't think even the workers themselves who have been so incredible and putting so much work after their exhausting hours in organizing this, they don't, I don't know if they even understand what a huge deal this is. This has been done with a couple of hundred pounds, a lot of love and labor by workers and without any support from many of the big games industry organizations. No more feeling thankful that you are part of the industry. Today, as of this weekend, you can feel like you're protected if you're suffering, if you're quietly suffering in this job. The glamour is not all that, but finally you have someone there that will be there for you. Um, yeah, game workers of the world unite.